everyone. Today I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to start this uh, portrait of Molly. She's a Havanese. Um, she's a rescue. She's 10 years old and she's a commission piece. So I'm excited to do this. And what I did earlier, I was having technical difficulties so I wasn't able to record what I did here, which it was just put some paint on here, oil paint, and then just kind of smeared it around because I wanted to tone the canvas and just uh, smear it around. And then I located where the eyes are and the nose, more or less. Nothing is definite. There is a way that I did it. And in another um, video, I'll, um, I'll show you how I did it. But for now, I wanted to hurry up and start Molly. So what I'm gonna do is, I have this paper towel, and I'm going to, I dipped it in turpentine, uh, odorless turpentine, and I'm just kind of marking off, since she's got some white on her, just the light areas, and just kind of marking them off here, erasing it off the canvas a little bit. I know it looks, really weird right now, but that's how it goes. And then here's her body down here, which is pretty white, pretty light. I don't, I don't think it's white. I don't know this dog, so it's a little bit more difficult to paint uh, something you don't know, a dog you don't really know. But it's doable, I'll do it. I'm confident, I've done it before, so. So here it is. Okay. This is just the gauge. It just kind of helps me, more or less. Um, see, it brings out what I'm creating. All right, that's going to be it for now. So I'm going to take, um, okay, some burnt umber. I've got here and I'm going to kind of more or less put her eye in and then over here too and then here's the nose and I'm just going to start change brushes. Some of the artists that I've learned from on YouTube, especially the ones that use oil paintings, seem to use the same brush for the, the entire project. But I don't know how they do that. I'm always switching. I work all over the place. I don't usually concentrate on one section. The way that I um, 
measured on how to put her on here because I am making her bigger than what's here on my iPad. I use this um, little tool, it's called a um, proportional divider. So what I do is I measure, I measure um, here, you know, more or less where the eye is, and then I transfer it onto here. So that's how I did it. It's a little bit hard for me to explain. And it took some practice to learn how to do this. At first I did not understand it at all. See? It's a side. just pretty much just showing you how I do this. You have to just watch it. I'm terrible when it comes to explaining things, getting my thoughts across. So if you watch me, you can see how I do it. People just, some people just like to watch. And if you have any questions, please Ask me, and if I can, I will answer. Right now, it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. And I kind of don't. <laughs> but you'll get there. I haven't been painting very long, maybe three years. And oil paints, even less than that. I started with acrylics. It was fun, I liked it. But then I thought, there's just something about oils. It looks, I don't know, the look of it. Um, I've always wanted to do oils. When I was a young girl, my parents used to buy me um, the paint by number. Uh, kits, you know, remember those? I loved doing that. So I thought, oh, I'm going to try it as an adult. I'm going to try doing this. And so I looked up some YouTube um, tutorials on oil painting. Some wonderful artists out there, just wonderful, wonderful teachers. And I've learned so much from them, and I really appreciate that. So I just wanted to show you how I learned, what I can do from the things that I learned from these uh, tutorials, these YouTube tutorials. And I do it definitely different than they do because they're more experienced. But somehow I managed to do it. And it just makes me, painting just relaxes me makes me feel really good mentally, emotionally, it takes me away. And it's such a good feeling when you see what you've accomplished is to think that you were able to do that. to say that when uh, one of my projects is a commission, I've had a few commissions, I don't know what it is, it just kind of stresses me out. I want to do it perfectly, I want to please the client, um, it just stresses me out. That's not good because that's not what painting is about. So I'm a little bit stressed, but um, 
because I want to do my best. So I don't have to, I can't think too much about it. I can't think, oh, this is somebody's going to pay me for this. And this is somebody's uh, pet that they love so much. I mean, I, I know that Molly is loved because her owner asked me to paint her and uh, to hire me to paint her. So and I'm so thrilled. So I want to please her. So Molly, like I think I said earlier that she's a Havanese. My Wesley is also a Havanese. They are the most amazing dogs. I was not familiar with Havanese, the breed, until, um, until uh, Wesley came into my, our lives. And uh, I always, we've had poodles and, well, we had a poodle. She was our first pet, our first dog. She was amazing. We loved her so much, and we thought when we lost her, we really wanted another poodle. Then a wonderful friend who breeds Havanese introduced me to Wesley, and my goodness, we're in love with this breed. They're known as comedians, which let me tell you, Wesley is a comedian. I don't know about Molly, but I'm willing to bet that, that she is also a comedian, if she's anything like uh, Wesley. So I'm just starting out with this burnt umber. I see her, she's got some, some apricot coloring, I think. And so I will be doing that later, but um, she's got black, I think. More black, but I'll go over it with black. Right now, I just want her to show up on the picture here on the, on the canvas. And then I'm going to adjust do a lot of adjusting. Wesley is here in the room with me, in my studio. He's just looking at me right now. Wondering who I'm talking to. Probably thinks I'm talking to him. Sometimes he can be pretty naughty, but right now, oops, what is he here? Right now he's pretty good, which I really appreciate. He just turned seven months. He's been a handful, but we love him to death. We love him so much.
And also, I'm a very slow painter. The teachers on on YouTube, of course, they're more experienced, so they do it all within an hour. Most portraits that they paint, or most paintings, and I'm like, how do they do that in one hour? But that's experience. Experience and confidence, which I don't, I don't have all that much confidence, and I definitely don't have any much experience. But I do know that um, the more you do it, the more confident you get. Of course, because you'll have more experience. And um, I'm going to send this link to um, the client so she can see how Molly is coming along. She said it was okay for me to post it. And she'll be seeing it. At this point, you can tell it's a dog, sort of. So I'll probably do these like in 20 minute segments and then post them as I as I progress. 